Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kyra and this video is a part of my Moving to New Zealand series here on my channel where I share some experiences and tips that I learned during my process of moving here. So for this video, I'm gonna go over opening a bank account. The process has changed. I decided to go with the bank ANZ or ANZ. There was no really reason why I chose them. It just seemed like a nice bank and there are other banks definitely here in New Zealand that you can pick. I'm going to be talking about the experience to open an ANZ account because I think ANZ is a very popular bank. I believe it also is in Australia, so it's kind of nice to have it because if you do plan to travel to Australia, it will still work. So this by no means means that every bank in New Zealand will run like this, but this is definitely the experience for ANZ and I can confirm because I just opened my bank account yesterday. So I guess we'll start with the process first. Basically, when you arrive in New Zealand, you have to apply online on ANZ to open up an account. This is not going to open your account. It is only going to create a file for you for ANZ so that they will later contact you to make an appointment to open an account. So it's really important that you go online and apply and use proper information that will help your application go a lot smoother. If you do make mistakes, if you don't put the correct information, it will slow down your application process. It will also slow down how quickly they contact you to make an appointment. This appointment that you will get will really depend on the location you're in because if you are trying to open a bank account and you are in Auckland, Auckland gets a huge influx of other people who are wanting to open accounts just like you probably on working holidays so it really is a longer wait time because the volume of applications is so high so I heard that for some people that wanted to stay in Auckland and open an account they had to wait weeks in order to get an available appointment to actually open the account if you are in a smaller city it is recommended that you open up a bank account in a small city because it's a lot easier to get an appointment with the bank a lot sooner so for example I was in Auckland but I had a road trip planned and eventually I would end up here at the Mount in Tauranga. I still don't know how to pronounce that correctly. Don't come for me in the comments. So like I said, I had plans to move here to the Mount and I made an appointment at the Bayfair Shopping Center branch and I had my appointment yesterday. So once you apply online, you get a call back from them and you have an appointment. They will send you an email basically outlining the documentation you'll need to bring with you to your appointment in order for them to open your account. So this is where the process has changed in the last month. Before you needed a proof of address and short-term accommodation like a hostel used to be accepted. Now that has changed. You cannot use a letter from the hostel anymore to prove your address here in New Zealand. It's a little bit tougher because that means you need to have another address. However, they have now let you use your home address from your home country so long as it is the exact one printed on your working holiday visa. So when you first applied for your working holiday visa, you had to have given an address in your home country and that is the address they will use to open up your account until you come across a New Zealand address where you'll be living then you can contact them and they will update the address for you to your new local New Zealand address however there is a caveat with that they will only use your home country address only if you have applied within the last six months from the date of your appointment to open the account for example I applied for my working holiday visa and was approved and given my visa on June 11th this year and that meant that I only had six months from June 11th for them to be able to use my home address in Canada to use to open the account if that makes sense. It's getting a little bit convoluted here but essentially if you have applied for the visa and within six months after you get the visa to you by email and you go to the bank and open an account they can use that visa. I made it by just one month. I had already had five months pass since June as it's now November and so I just made it to the cutoff line so I was lucky however if I had for some reason applied for my visa very early in the year and the six months had passed I would then have to find another document proving my address from Canada and this really really depends on what country you're from I'm usually on a lot of their exempt lists here in New Zealand for example if I wanted to apply for a New Zealand driver's license overseas conversion I am one of the countries that is exempted from having to take your theory and practical tests I just have to pay a fee and switch it over so the same goes for the bank I am on a low risk country so I am exempted from certain restrictions on proving my address so there is a lot more options for me to pick from to show them as proof of address in Canada. For example I could have just shown them a bank statement from my Canadian bank account and that would have counted as well in the event that it had already passed the six months to use my working holiday visa as an option to prove my address. I will leave a link below to show you guys what kind of proof of address is now accepted at ANZ. It actually
actually is quite clearly detailed on the ANZ website now. So the other thing you need to bring besides that proof of address, which is usually the trickiest part of opening an account. So once you clear that, you're pretty much in the clear. You just need to provide your passport as well. You also should probably provide your IRD number, which is the New Zealand tax number identifier here. And if you haven't applied for IRD, I definitely recommend you do that because I think the process for that has changed as well. Now I just applied for my IRD online. I didn't even need a New Zealand bank account anymore. I just needed my home country tax number. So I provided my SIN number from Canada to the IRD and government website and I actually got my IRD number in a day. So it was quite easy to get my IRD and I was able to provide that to the bank and they also requested to have my Canadian tax number. So I gave them my IRD for New Zealand and my SIN for Canada. The other thing that you should really have before you go to the bank is a local New Zealand phone number. So definitely pick up a SIM card. There's a lot more options for providers here in New Zealand now. And it's really, really helpful if you have a local phone number to use so that they have that on file for your account. I basically went into the branch here in the Mount. I went to the branch in Bayfair Mall. It was pretty good. It was a little bit lengthy for me though. Even though I had all the documentation I needed, it still took one hour to open my account. Maybe it's it's just dependent on the type of teller that you get and you know the questions that they want to ask you but some of the questions were a little bit personal and they got a little bit more in detail on your plans here in New Zealand and I suppose they're asking these questions so that they know what type of account to open up for you so for me they decided that I would be great to have a go account which is a free checking account now here in New Zealand they call it FPUS cards and basically those are free and you can use them for purchases in store you can use them at ATMs for the ANZ banks. However, you cannot use the FPOS cards online for online purchases. So because I wanted to have that option to purchase things online and get it shipped here to my address here in New Zealand, I decided to upgrade to the Visa debit card. And at ANZ, if you have a Go account, that will cost you $10 per year. But if you're only here for the year, then it's just going to be $10. So I would recommend you upgrade to that. The only thing with getting a Visa debit card is that they have to mail it to you. So you have the option to have it mailed to the branch that you open the account or you could have it sent to your New Zealand address but because it was so easy for me to just have it mailed to the branch I decided to do that I will have to go there once it's delivered they'll give me a call I will go there and sign for it and yeah that's it I can have my card and I can use it and my account is active during the appointment they also set you up for online internet banking and there's also a banking app that you can use if you want to use your phone to do your banking and there's also like voice recognition that they set up for you if you want. So it's all really seamless, very easy steps. Yes, it's a bit lengthy to open it for an hour appointment, but you know what, I'm set up now. I have my account. While I don't have my physical card on me, I can still use my account with my internet banking and send money from Canada to my New Zealand account, get that all set up so that next week when I get my card, I'll be able to just use it and there's money in there already. So yeah, that's basically the new process. I wanted to do this video to help those who are also moving to New Zealand. So yeah, a lot of the blogs online probably won't let you know the new steps to open a bank account with ANZ. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos on New Zealand, living here, weekly vlogs, and other travel and lifestyle content. Take care and happy travels. Bye!